Cardiobites. How is amyloidosis diagnosed? In amyloidosis, the accumulation of insoluble amyloid fibrils leads to a wide spectrum of nonspecific signs and symptoms. Diagnosis requires a high index of suspicion. Patients with cardiac amyloidosis often have symptoms suggestive of HFPEF, including fatigue, dyspnea, and lower extremity edema. Clinical clues that amyloidosis may be the cause of HFPEF include left ventricular hypertrophy, intolerance to antihypertensives, persistent low-level troponin elevation, and extracardiac manifestations of amyloidosis. If cardiac amyloidosis is suspected based on history, ECG, or echocardiogram, the patient should first be screened for AL amyloidosis. Screening consists of three blood tests, serum-free light chains, SPEP with IFE, and UPEP with IFE. If a monoclonal light chain is identified, the patient should be referred urgently to hematology. Diagnosis of AL cardiomyopathy can be made with a combination of bone marrow biopsy, fat pad biopsy, and biopsy of the affected organ. If there is no monoclonal light chain, the use of technetium pyrophosphate scintigraphy, also called a PYP scan, allows for the non-invasive diagnosis of ATTR cardiomyopathy. AL cardiomyopathy can cause a false positive PYP scan, so it is important to rule out AL amyloidosis before obtaining a PYP scan. In some instances, such as concern for simultaneous AL and ATTR cardiomyopathy, or an equivocal PYP scan, endomyocardial biopsy may be required for diagnosis. Following the diagnosis of ATTR cardiomyopathy, genetic testing should be offered to distinguish wild type from hereditary transthyretin amyloidosis. In summary, in a patient with HFPEF and LVH, cardiac amyloidosis should always be considered in the differential diagnosis. Following a negative monoclonal light chain screen, a PYP scan is often sufficient to make the diagnosis of ATTR cardiomyopathy. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of CardioBytes, brought to you by the Heart Failure Society of America. Support for this program was provided by an independent grant from Al Nylum Pharmaceuticals. I'm Christine Seiler. I'm an advanced heart failure and transplant specialist at the University of Colorado. Please complete this short survey to help us identify more programs that may be of interest to you.